everyone and welcome back to my channel or video. So today I'm going to be going through some dad hacks on fat loss. So basically at the minute I am doing like a cut because I have a photo shoot in seven weeks with a photographer called Peter Bennett Photography and basically just for some motivation before I go to LA and Vegas. So I only booked that like the other day. It was pretty short notice for like a prep. But I just feel this video will be really helpful to those who are struggling to stay on track with their fat loss and don't really know what way to go about it and need some like tips and stuff for like what to eat and what to sort of do to stay on track. So the first one would be obviously fizzy drinks okay so this is coca-cola zero sugar so this is obviously great for people who have like really really sweet sugar cravings for like fizzy drinks and stuff but i don't personally drink this this is my dad's but i think it's really great because it's literally zero calorie and it obviously takes away all cravings. I wouldn't know, I've never drunk it, though I do recommend it for when you're on dieting and you haven't got many calories left or you need some sugar in there or some sweetness to help you throughout your day. But I mainly just stick with water for every day because I prefer to eat my calories. Um, okay, so next one would be obviously like either almond milk or coconut original milk this is really low calorie in comparison to all other like milks and stuff and it's really great for like protein oats or like shakes or protein shakes or adding the recipes and stuff it's really good also i have this protein milk which is a lot lower calorie than normal milk and you get a lot more protein out of it which again you can add to your cereal or you can add to your shakes or your protein shakes okay so the next ones i would give would be these okay so turkey bacon ricers and bacon medallions so these are really great as they're literally so low calorie and you still get your protein in and they're quite filling as well especially to have for like breakfast in the morning with like bacon or eggs i feel the bacon medallions are really nice and the turkey bacon i don't really like it but i eat it because it's only 28 calories for a ricer which is really good so it's good for hitting your protein and stuff and it's good to consider for when you're dieting and you're trying to save those extra calories to get through your day. So give them a try. Okay, next one. We have this amazing proper corn, lightly sea salted popcorn, which is 42 calories per packet, like high amazing. But I think things like this are really great because you get to eat them for like longer than five minutes and you keep your mouth chewing. Mainly that's where my boredom comes from when my mouth isn't moving. <laughs> so I would definitely say to give them a try. Okay, next would be the most amazing toffee flavour drops. I literally add this to everything. Um, you can add them to like pancake recipes, um, your protein oats, just normal oats, um, yogurt, your protein shakes, drinks. It can be used for literally anything and it's really, really great because there's literally nothing in it. It just flavours things for you and gives you that extra bit of sweetness. Next, we have these amazing sauces that I always use when I'm dieting. Because they're pretty much nothing in them again and they add so much flavour to your food even for like salads or wraps or whatever it may be Frank's hot sauce is amazing and so is the Cholula hot sauce 
and there's literally barely any calories in them at all so you wouldn't even really need to account for them so they're great give them a try for like chicken or anything in a wrap or for your breakfast next would be the obvious Greek yogurt this is um a Faye total zero percent with raspberry pomegranate because I literally love this flavour. I don't really like Faye on its own, but I love this one, and it's so good for like a snack and you really your protein as well. Faye will be one of the best for hitting protein in terms of like Greek yogurt, probably one of the best and all natural ingredients. So definitely say add this to your daily routine even the big i get the big tubs as well and i use them for like my pancake mixes or just for a yogurt and some like fruit so it's really nice and you can add them toffee flavor drops that i just showed you so give it a try okay so the obvious my absolute favorite when i'm dieting i have one of these nearly every night because Usually it gets to about 6pm and I've had all my calories for the day and I'm just like oh I can't do this but they're literally they say 10 calories but there's literally like 2 or 3 calories in them at the most and they are so delicious and they just fill the craving that you have at night time so really great keeps your mouth moving for at least 10 minutes anyway so I would definitely recommend these and they have so much different flavors in them like i tried like a lemonade one the other day and it was just so amazing it just felt nice and summery and stuff but definitely one of my favorite for dad okay next would be these all natural slim multi-grain pops these are only 15 calories for a cracker like what that is like literally amazing um i use these either as a snack or you can like make little pizzas out of them by just adding like tomato puree and your topping and then some cheese and it's so low calorie oh my god it's amazing but they are definitely worth a try like 15 calories is nothing so you could literally eat the whole pack and probably be fine <laughs> okay next protein powder from my protein I feel this is really great for my dating if I'm not going to reach my protein I would just have like a shake or put it in my Faya yogurt or else I would add it to my oats something like that but you can do all different things with your protein which is really good you can mix it up and you don't always have to drink shakes because I rarely drink shakes myself like I don't really like them they make me feel really sick and like full but definitely I think my protein is one of the best to go for for your protein not the protein powder is essential but if you struggle and you like to make like recipes and stuff it's really good okay so fine dark cocoa powder is something that I really do recommend for anything in life like for your oats as I say or for making brownies or adding the shakes this is really nice in a vanilla shake you add the, the protein powder then the vanilla and then like a teaspoon of syrup or honey and it's amazing really great for sweet teeth um, and it's really low calorie too I mean like for like 10 grams of it it's only like 20 or 30 calories which is pretty good for flavour and stuff really good stuff so check it out and what do we have next? Oh, my favourite of course. So, rice cakes. I literally do not go through a day without a rice cake or at least I could nearly eat the whole packet but now that my calories are lower I can so I only have like two or three a day. But like when I was going through like a muscle gain phase I would have ate like seven in a row or eight. Could have had more but yeah so as i was saying there my camera cut off yet again because there's too much stuff on it that i need to delete um so this is caramel flavor from home bargains 
or else chocolate chip snack jacks which are 62 calories these are 40 calories which are absolutely amazing and they taste so good <laughs> okay the next one that i would definitely give that i don't have with me today would be protein bars i think protein bars are amazing and I don't really go through one day without eating one because I think they literally taste nicer than normal chocolate. And you're also getting some protein in there as well for those who struggle to hit protein every day. But um, I think the Barbells ones, the Grenade ones and Fulfill PhD, almost all of them are really, really tasty. And around 200 calories most of them but you need to watch because some things may say protein but they're nearly 400 calories and that obviously isn't good when you're trying to cut down your calories and some labels may be pretty tricky and say only half a serving but you eat the whole bar and think that you've had like the half serving that describes the calories on the back so you need to watch out for that definitely um, what else do I have to show here? Oh, you can also get really nice low calorie mousses that you can either eat as they are, which I actually prefer, or you can put them in the freezer and use them as ice cream and then have something with them. Maybe a little dessert that ain't too high in calories. But yes, they're really, really good. So they are. Um, last but not least would be to get your water intake in every single day. So currently at the minute I'm aiming for 4 litres of water per day, which is quite a lot, but I'm used to eat, I'm used to drinking around 2.5 to 3 every day anyway, so it's only like a litre or more, but definitely water is great and it's filling and it's essential for fat loss and everyday life really. You really need to be hitting your water intake and making sure that you're having enough throughout the day, especially through your training. That's when I feel it is best to get it in and easiest to get it in because I don't even feel like I have to drink it. I need to drink it because I'm literally dying <laughs> and I'm so tired of the gym so I just try and get a lot of my intake in then with my water, but keep drinking your water. <laughs> I think that's all I have with me today in terms of sort of foods that I would eat throughout my day. Definitely going to post a video on what I eat in a day and stuff because I'm getting a lot of messages about that. But um, they're just basic like snacks and stuff and like some things for meals that I would have. Obviously the meat and stuff and for like oats and all stuff like that and to go along with my eggs in the morning. Also these sugar free, lower calorie option of marshmallows. Great if you add them top of a rice cake and put it in the grill and make like a s'more with it. So they're really really great. I usually have a better um, brand than Sainsbury's called Freyus but couldn't find them so I've been using these. Or you can add them to a little hot chocolate if you're craving that or something else maybe. A dessert that you've been craving that you made yourself so that is all for today on dad hack tips and what I would eat for snacks and stuff when I'm dad which I currently am so I do eat them most days myself and I find them really really helpful for staying on track and working towards my goal every day and helping me stay under my calories instead of going over there's just you need to learn that you're not hungry you're just you want it but you're not actually hungry like it's just it's a, there's a difference in being hungry and being greedy and that's what i learned when i'm dead and like i'm not actually hungry i'm just bored and i need to learn to just say no and it's night time usually so i would usually go to bed earlier now so that i don't eat <laughs> really